what's up um, right now I will uh, demonstrate how to add objects and virtual fighter 5 final showdown stages what you need first is um, this uh, software which is uh, by Skyth here the Miku Miku library in order to install this one you have to go to the releases here and then download this one and download um, this one Miku Miku model extract it and somewhere and try to run it what you need to run is um, something like this one you need to run this one so what we're going to do now is um, open a stage and the stage at hand is um, we have to copy first the, uh, the, the data first So, for example, we have to copy Evo on your directory first. Put it on a uh, stage test. Copy there, then open it up. Now you have this. What you're going to do is extract it see there's export then you have to export as DAE it's either FBX or DAE but DAE is um, uh, much more compatible in some ways so extract it with that one make another um, folder inside because the, uh, it will extract a bunch of files there once it's done next step is you're going to need a blender blender is a 3d software editing software and in that software we're going to edit the uh, one that we extracted so Delete this one first. Then we export. Import. We import. Sorry. We're going to import. Go to the extracted um, folder and then the settings are this one. And there we go. That's the extracted f um, stage. That we have easy right now take note of the uh, the objects here sky is um really ambiguous i don't think it's uh advisable to add objects in there so what i did uh, what i did um what's uh, most advisable is um have the objects here in grand grand is this one oh no 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 soto soto is this one yeah soto is this one grand is the outside layer yep and then the plate is this one and then the stage well it is the stage so how do you add a um, object so basically um i'm gonna use um, some template uh 
basic 3D objects like this. What I did is shift A if you want some shortcuts, shift A to make this appear, shift A and then I'm going to add a uh, monkey. So it looks a little bit complex. What I did now is um, I press G to move it. And then now I'm going to um, press G again to reposition, press S to scale if you don't know how to use a uh, blender and then press r to rotate so if you try to if i uh, if i want to add another shift a again some more complex um objects Icospear, I think that's um, a pretty complex one. And let's go with editing. Here we have here. We can edit it out. Make it spiky. Spiky, just to test. Mess around a little bit. There. And there we go. So when you try to add the. Uh, this one and you have to add this two you have to put them inside the uh, stage so again we're going to put them in the stage I'm using I ah sorry I used the uh, I click this one then hold control to get them both then hold shift while dragging then you have to drag it to stage now it's uh, available on stage see I think it will be better if it's outside. Maybe that works. Anyway, going to export again. Created a new folder, DAE, and We're back at the, this one. Make a micro model, then we have to replace it into the DAE and check it. And there we go. That's our. Uh, and you see here, it's a bit. It's um. It's apparent there. Okay. Now you have to save it. Let it wait and then if you wait for um, for one minute then you can close it. I think that's enough because it's a small file. Close it so it compiles well. Go back the uh, file. Stage test. Result. Ah uh, no. Copy this one. Now go back. Now if you notice the uh, size is uh, changed and then go to ROM object set make sure you rename it for backup purposes and then add it okay now we run the uh, RPCS3 and Evo 00 is 29 so we have to change the value to 29 and keep it there all right change the pad first
Now there we go, we have a uh, added the objects there. So there we go. So for a uh, better measure, I'm going to change the character to somewhere that I can throw the character really high or at least jump really high. So that's basically it. So I hope that is really helpful. But um, sometimes it crashes if you try to import something really complex. Like I think it's something that um you have to handle with the textures because I think this game doesn't handle um really uh, high resolution textures maybe. so basically that's it how to import um, objects 3d objects so see ya